curls and like this is not the style that I was going for either but girl yes look at girl y'all just don't know how long I have been trying to get my hair to look like this like I've even went to hairstylists who can't even get my hair to look voluminous like this this is in bitch you know what Hey girl, welcome back to the channel. It's Diamond Mind and I'm back with another wig video. So big shout out to RPG Show for sponsoring today's look. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I layer my wigs and how I curl my wigs to get my wigs to look so just full and just luxurious and just bouncy because um, this was a look I've been working for. I've been trying to get this look for a long, long time. And honestly, now I feel like I got it. And I want to share with you guys some tips and tricks that I do with layering my hair and curling my hair. So the only thing you're going to need in this video is, of course, a wig. Again, I'm using RPG Show wig. And then, of course, you're going to need a curling iron. You are going to need some sort of hot comb. If you don't have a hot comb, you can use your curling iron to smooth out, smooth out your hair. You're going to need a wax stick to smooth smooth out the hairline you're going to need some sort of holding spray or gel you don't have to use any type of glue you can take this wig off by simply adding water because none of these products I'm going to use to secure this wig down is glue so you can use holding spray or you can use gel whichever one you decide is totally fine so if you're ready to get started on how to curl your hair and layer your hair then girl let's get to it so um I don't know I feel like I'm super bright but I can't keep messing with my lighting. So the wig that I'm using, so today's video is being sponsored by RPG Show. This is like a um, honey blonde lace frontal wig. I think it's a 20 inch, yes, yeah, a 20 inch. On a tinted transparent lace. So I don't have to worry about doing like any plucking. I don't have to worry about doing any bleach, bleaching to the knots, especially because the color of the lace. The picture for this wig is like a side part with a bang. And I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it did come cut for a bang. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, yesterday I wore my hair in these big curls uh, with the middle part. So I'm actually going to recreate that look, but with this color. Ooh. This hair has a lot. Oh, I love this color up against my skin. I was kind of skeptical at first because you girls already know the basics and so I'm just gonna press out my hairline making sure to keep the comb moving because you don't want to burn your hair underneath you just want to make sure it's clean and smooth all right so what I do to add layers to my hair where is my razor comb go ahead and section off my hair into tools like just right down the middle I'm gonna push that to the back and then I'm gonna come like right where my ear is the top of my ear pretty much now there's so many ways you can cut layers in your hair you can use scissors shears a razor comb a razor like it's whatever you want to do whatever you're comfortable with so what I'm going to do is take this section right here and depending on where you want your curls to fall will depend on how high or how low you want your layers to be so or to start for that fact so I always just cut um, longer and then work my way up as I'm curling my hair because of course you can always take hair off but you can't add hair so I'm going to start I'm going to start like right here and then as I'm curling my hair I'll go back and chop up because I normally like for my curls to start like right here right. start here and go down see so then I'm going to take another section that same bunch of hair but I just added a little bit more still staying in front of my ear I'm not taking any hair like behind my ear as you see so all the hair in the front okay now you can still see some of the layers like right here but it's not, it's not layered properly. So I'm going to go back in 
with my razor comb and you see where that layer you guys probably can't see it but you see where the layer starts so you want to go under that off with the front layer go in make sure you're starting a little lower boom now you can see the layers here that was a pretty good cut and then to check see that size a little bit longer but it's pretty <laughs> your layers in your wig is your curl technique. Like I'm using, I think it's a one inch curling iron, so I may have way too much hair. If that's the case, I'm just gonna split it like that, push it to the back. Um, this hair does have some texture to it, so it should hold a curl okay, but in case it doesn't, I'm gonna go in with some hairspray. So now that I have pretty much a majority of my hair curled, I'm now going to go in and start curling the layered part. Now, <clears throat> this is uh, important because you want your layers to actually start showing throughout your hair and like you want that voluminous look. So typically you would just section off your hair and keep um curling but i'm not going to do it that way because i want my curls to go back so i'm going to take a section like this so i'm going to take the behind section and just making sure i brush out everything i take my curling iron and i'm going to curl backwards like if you want a lot of volume on the top like i like for my hair to be then you want to make sure you focus a majority of your curls on top instead of just continuing to curl straight down because this section up here is going to give you some volume on top it's going to give you that full um it's going to give you that full fluffy look hair is curled in layers as you can see now I'm about to take off the scarf yeah, that's good. a few ways that you can do your curls you can take your fingers and um, loosen your curls or you can take a wide tooth comb I honestly prefer a wider tooth comb but I don't know where mine is so this is like the biggest because this is like the widest tooth comb I have so what you do is you take your comb and you go backwards so might be a little tough to do but and then you can take your hands and kind of 
place your curls where you want it to be. I noticed that this side might be a little heavy, so I may have to go in and cut a little bit more layers. Your skills have improved, baby. When you can push that hair back and the layers still fall like that. <laughs> baby, that's when you know. You know what you're doing. Okay, yes. Look at Girl, y'all just don't know how long I have been trying to get my hair to look like this. Like, I've even went to hairstylists who can't even get my hair to look voluminous like this. This is in... Bitch, you know what? <sighs> Girl. Mm. Okay, only thing I just need this in black. Like, I just, I need it. I love this color, but I need it in black. This wig is so pretty, girls. And like, this is not the style that I was going for either, but girl. All right, so the color is beautiful. As you guys can see, the hair curls with no problem. I love the simple fact that I did not have to go in and do anything to the hairline. 200% density I can definitely see in the hair right now compared to at the beginning when the hair was straight. All right, let me not hold y'all no more. So yeah, this was a little quick tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this styling video. Um, if you want to see more wigs like this, style like this, but in black, let me know. And I'll re-record the video in a different color. So yeah, um, let's spray her down honey because we about to go again big shout out to rpg show for sponsoring today's video i'll make sure i have all the tea below on this wig right, so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye